my name's Troy Restrick. I'm the CEO of the charity Hubbub. So this project is about taking plastics that has been dumped into the waterways around London, collecting it, taking it up to a factory in Scotland, turning it into planks made of recycled plastic, taking those planks all the way back down to Richmond in London, giving those planks to a maverick boat builder who built the Queen's Barge. He's turned these planks into a punt, a boat, a really traditional boat, but it's the first time it's made of recycled plastic. That boat's then being taken back to Docklands next to Canary Wharf, we put in the river and children will get into the boat and we'll start fishing out more plastics to make more boats. I think the inspirational value of a project like this is it just makes such sense. You know, you see plastic in the water, you want to get it out of the water, why not turn it into a boat that then you can use to take more plastic out of the water? I mean, it's just this lovely sort of message. And then it also has this sort of like slightly quirky image, which is like, how can you take a plastic bottle and turn it into a traditional looking punt boat? And, and you know, people just get quite fascinated about that. I, th I think projects like this show what's possible, but by their very nature, they're quite small scale. And the amount of plastics that we have to deal with is huge. And what people don't seem to realise, if you drop it on a street, it can sometimes end up in the river or the waterways, and then it ends up in the ocean. We've got to change consumer behaviour. We've got to stop people believing that to drop litter on the floor is acceptable. And then we've got to make it easier for it to be recycled. So what we need to be able to do in this country is to create the infrastructure so that we can recycle all the plastics that we produce. We need to be able to collect it and we need to persuade people that plastics does have a value so they shouldn't drop it on the floor or put it in the wrong bin. That's quite a big ask and what we hope is that projects like this will point to what is possible, but actually the challenge is now back to government and industry and local authorities to say, okay, it can be done, it has to be done at scale. And I think if we can do that, then this project will have been a success. You've got to be excited by the creation of Britain's first recycled plastic boat. It's just such a fantastic thing. But we've got to recognise what it is, which is it's like a really great story. It's a quirky way of dealing with plastics. But its main role is to provoke a conversation and then to hopefully stimulate much bigger solutions that work for everybody.